official. These two are going at one another. There's no referee. We don't need a referee. We need the National Guard. Anybody got a referee shirt? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Oh, look at that scope slam. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Looking to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Muay Thai clinch. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Just going all out with every blow. She's taking some big hits here. Ripley's not playing nice right now. This is that take no prisoners attitude we talked about earlier. Oh, what an intense striking combination. Oh, look at this. Hit her, pull that slam. Uh, shots to the body. Boom. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Corey, if you're butting heads with Rhea Ripley, what's the most important thing to watch out for? It's got to be her ultra-aggressive streak. She's going to come at you hard with everything she's got without stopping. However, you may be able to turn that to your advantage by luring her into making a mistake in the ring. Placed in the corner. In the corner. And an elbow for good measure. Dodges out of the way. Precision strikes. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Muscled out all the way to the outside. Oof. Look out! Incredible! Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. She throws her back in. Rhea Ripley gearing up for brutality. Ooh, what a forearm club. Big cover! Shoulders are down! See how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How? Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost, which they just did, mind you. And to that, I say kudos. Always imaginative and always impressive.
The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell has already had reigns with the NXT Tag Titles and the NXT Women's Championship. Truly battle-tested, she's ready to continue that success on the main roster. Would you say, Cole, that she's impressive? The whimsical Wendy Chu. When Wendy Chu gets pushed, oh, she'll bring it. And I don't mean the pillow. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu. Wendy Chu, always dressed for comfort, but more than ready for a fight. And you definitely don't want to get run over by the Wendy Chu Chu train. Yes, I do. A real train. Plans on waking up everyone to her potential. I disagree. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance she sleepwalks through this one. And we begin with a superstar who I can't really make heads or tails of, and that's Wendy Chu. Nine times out of ten, Wendy Chu's doing an impression of the audience when Saxton talks. But when that alarm clock hits, there are very few competitors as efficient and unorthodox as she is. She's really becoming one of my favorites to watch. I think a lot of people would agree with you, Corey. But let's shift the spotlight to Indy Hartwell for a moment. This is a superstar who has won the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe through hard work and gritty determination. Every time Indy gets in the ring, she is out to prove herself. Indy has said that she's done with doubt. It's a pretty inspirational mindset that could take her far in this business. Every strike more devastating than the last. Jarring impact. <laughs> and Wendy moves. Oh, man! Ouch. And Chu caught sleeping, as it were. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Knife edge chop. Oh, what a chop. Nobody really saw Wendy Chu coming, but she's definitely one to watch. What is it that makes her so dangerous? She keeps them guessing, Cole. Chu definitely marches to the beat of her own drum, but whatever she's doing seems to be working. I can't say I understand her thought process, but if I'm her, I ain't messing with what's clearly working. Oh, uh, the reversal by Chu. That'll light up your chest. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. From behind, back suplex. Oh, straight forearm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And I think we just saw a good answer to Hartwell's killer instinct right there. Very efficient form of offense from Wendy. Oh, face first. Can she score the pin? Not even a near fall there. Elbow drop. Piercing. Big right hand. Oof. Where's the haymaker? Quick thinking to unleash the clothesline. Two fists full of hair. This can't be legal. Oh! And a match slam! Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, reversal catches Hartwell. A sound suplex. And a standing moon 
moonsault. And that is not supposed to look that easy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so athletic. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Nice Japanese arm drag. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Taking this outside. This could be good. We've got to be careful not to get this qualified. A running swanton. Wendy is taking charge. And Chu keeping him guessing. Sticking to the unpredictable in-ring formula that's worked for her so far. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Snapmare takeover. Followed by Big Boot. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Impressive reversal there. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Driven down face first. Elbow lands hard. Oh, that'll shatter your chest. Looking for a high risk move. To the sky. Oh! Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Now, very, very upset. And she, she battled her butt off in that matchup. Yeah, I, I can't imagine the frustration she's feeling right now as her manager comes in to, to check on her. Look, I'm sure she'll... Whoa. Emotions running high, trouble in paradise. A hungry lucha talent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Cruz Del Toro! Del Toro got a start in Mexico practicing the Lucha Libre style now showcasing it as part of the LWO. Whether he's representing a family or standing alone, you must respect Cruz Del Toro. A ton of potential finally coming to light with his hardened attitude. Here comes the handsome and talented Umberto. Uh -oh. You forgot arrogant, Corey. 
and it's his opponent, Saxton. representing Los Lotharios from Monterrey, Mexico, you weighing in at 198 pounds. Jump starting the action. They always say to have eyes in the back of your head. Looks like this time, those eyes were open, Michael. Looks like the referee is motioning to these superstars, trying to get them into the ring. Yeah, come on, let's get this match started the right way. Huh, I, for one, don't see anything wrong with this. Nothing fancy there, spinning your Inagi. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Standing shooting star press, incredible. Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. How do you contend with a flashly and acrobatic superstar like Humberto? Do you focus on grounding him? Yeah, that's exactly right. Attack Umberto's legs and keep him away from the ropes. If he can't get airborne or build up speed, Umberto becomes a much less lethal competitor. Boom, nice. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Headline, boom. An early pin attempt. Raises the shoulder. He is too fresh to have been kept down. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. He throws his shoulder up before two. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Enough already. Close line. So effective. Vicious right forearm. Bang. Oh. Umberto gets the better there. Oh, lighten up the chest. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Gets him with the counter. Just a nasty headbutt. Thinking counter into a takedown. Oh my goodness. He may be in a bad way here. He thinks he has it. He gets the shoulder up at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Gets out of there in a hurry. He's heading back to the ring. Up on the shoulder. Taking it outside the ring now. Boom! Ooh, stinging kick. Now that'll do some serious damage. Enough already. And there's still a lot of game left here. Springboard off. Cruz is facing a beatdown. Cruz has got to get his wits about him. Del Toro out of harm's way. This athlete. Wait, 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 wait. Just after 
two. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Oh, and a stop. Humberto has set his sights on his opponent now. Look at this. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Going up top. Look at the height. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Uh-oh, I, I think I know what this superstar is going for. A, uh, a muscle buster. No, goodness. This could do it. match in defeat. Incredible guts on display here tonight from Umberto. No doubt about it, this is a major win for Umberto. Hey, maybe we're gonna get a handshake. Yeah, I'm actually surprised this superstar is extending his hand and... Well... Uh oh wait! Things did not go as they planned. There was no reason. How disrespectful. Hey, maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait, right? It's all about trying to embarrass this superstar's opponent in the early going. Match underway now, and as we just saw, there's already some tension here between these superstars. It takes real toughness to climb into the ring after taking a few hits. It shows how much this match means to everyone involved. No, I don't think that's a choice they should have had to have made in the first place. It's totally unfair. It could dramatically affect the final outcome of this contest. Only time will tell. Slingshot Tornado DDT. That was pretty cool. Discus punch. Big forearm. Planet face first. Using the elbow to escape the attack. He's burying elbows in the midsection. He catches Woods with a counter. Power slam incoming. No. From behind now an inverted DDT. We got a cover. And there's a kick out at one. Too early in the match to end it. He turns it around. Drives a foot into the stomach. Check to the midsection into the hammerlock. I think we know what comes next. DDT! Oh. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Taking on an incredibly well-rounded competitor. These two trading one blow after another. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Boom. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Two fighters putting their handmakers on autopilot right now. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes. Sheer guts of these two. 
You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Vicious right forearm. Able to interrupt the attack. Missed timing with that springboard. Woods finds an opening. They got the power on display. Go knees to the gut. What a punishing attack by Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods walking the top rope. Limit breaking ball. Eric looks out of it. Looking for the victory. Two. What a kick out at two. I don't know how he just kicked out. And I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. That almost did the job for Xavier Woods, but now he has to be wondering what else do I have to do? This is much. Turns it around. Sole of foot meets the stump. With authority. And he saw that coming from Eric. Uh-oh. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. He's going to try to put him away once and for all. He's out there in no man's land. Suicide dive! A roll of the dice, and it pays off in full. He's one step ahead there. Oh, I love this, guys. Couple punches, little Monty Fisto action. Get down. Bam! Bring it home. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power. Side slam. Focused attack on the back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Power bomb. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Setting foot in the ring now. Suplex! Such a potent display of power and control there. Able to get the advantage here. again. He's expressing pain now. Look out! Nobody home! Look at this. Oh, from the rope! He can end it here! He's gone! Kicks out. He still has life. Almost inhuman at this point. Stomping. Ouch! Far into the match and Eric isn't letting up. A turn of events forcing Woods to scramble for an answer. Maybe that will set him up. My goodness, what a cold red. Cover! Two! Digging deep for a kick out. So, so close. That could have been it. Landing on top of the skull. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Xavier Woods walking the top rope. Lemon break it. Ball. Woods might have this wrapped up. Makes the cover. He wins. He wins. Here is your winner, Xavier Woods. 
A disheartening loss, to say the least. They really wanted to prove them wrong in this one. This is what I've been telling you and Saxton all along, Cole. It doesn't have to be pretty as long as you win. Sure, they were disrespectful earlier on, but they won. In fact, it was that mindset that most likely drove them to win. It's Miz and Misses. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, the Champions! These two are such a wonderful couple because they have so much in common. Title reigns, reality television success, being beautiful. Here's another thing they have in common, Corey. They won't shut up about it all. Why would you shut up about that? These two even tag together at WrestleMania. It's Ugh. truly a beautiful love story. I wish you'd shut up about it. The agile and unpredictable scripts is in the building. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds, Scripps! Growing up, Scripps had to fight for all he had. Now he'll fight to get everything he deserves. Well, Scripps says that's just who he is, that it's the only way he knows how to do it. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. And he sends him into the corner. Oh my gosh, what impact. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Face first into the snapmare driver. And the DDT. Foot to the belly. No signs of either combatant backing down. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Slugging away with everything they've got. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth. 
forth like this. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. I think The Miz knows what he has to do to win this matchup. He needs to get crafty and do whatever it takes to win. Forget playing the nice guy and pull out all the stops here tonight. But that kind of strategy isn't strictly by the book. Cover! Almost two and a half. The end was in sight. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with him. Sent to the ropes. Baseball slide. Stiff forearm shot. Hooked up. DDT. Just sending a message there. What the heck is this manager doing looking out of the ring? She can't be acting like this. Miz. Oof. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. DDT spiked. Goes into the pin. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Boom, right across the small of the back. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And the momentum's clearly against Scripps now. This is Miz at his best. Getting crafty with his offense and doing whatever it takes to gain the advantage. Oh, God! And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. From the middle rope. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. He's not even close to being done yet. Boom, what a kick. Oh. oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. The Mizzard. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, and then the chest as well. Look at this. On the top, double axe handle connects. Oh, he's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. The Miz now in complete control. Scripps has to wake up and get going in a hurry. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Stop in the leg. Scripps denies the attack. Now he's looking for some momentum. Time now for Scripps to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. And now gets tossed into the ring. He just barely dodges. Cha-ching! Step up in Zaguri. Wow! Breathtaking standing shooting star. Ah, uh, that hurt. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Picking the leg. Oh, we got to see it. There it is. Figure four leg lock. Oh, no. This is not where he wants. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Looking for the single leg. Oh, that hurt. Shoulders down. The Miz soaking up this victory. Take a bow, Miz. You earned it. Boy, the Miz is really enjoying this win. We get it. You're awesome.
Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. And at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not yeah. respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, they are the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Oh, man. Chapa skillfully counters. Oh, my God, a close line. Big four. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go all out. 
be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Uh, he could be looking for a submission here. Yep. And a whole lot trying to maneuver out. Dropping bombs right now. It escapes. Something nefarious is beneath the ring. Oh, he knew exactly what he was looking for when he started digging under the apron. No one just finds a sledgehammer. And Giovanni didn't find a counter to that.
Check this out. Kaiser with the STO. Reverse dial DDT. Johnny Rattling with a takedown. We're going to cinch it in. There it is. He breaks the hole. And that definitely made some impact. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Oh, targeting the arm. This is uh oh, clear enough. Oh, this is like a guy about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Down for a European arm breaker. Johnny Gargano looks like he's really struggling out of this crowd. We got a cover. Back to Finn Balor. superstars that go great together and that win is proof this one felt special for the moment the bell rang we knew it was going to be a show he had really lived up to all the expectations Get on your feet and show some respect for the ring general. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test, and they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And his opponent, representing the brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger.
Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, the power! And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Bounce! Really just laying it in. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Hoist it up, and that was offense with a hurtful purpose. And Guther looking a little less dignified himself after absorbing that blow. Sheamus doing what he can to protect his territory. Reversal catches Sheamus there. Shot to the chest, what a poot. So, uh, how do you prepare for an opponent like Gunther? Uh, I don't know, go a few practice rounds with a semi-truck? Gunther already had next-level power and cruelty, but now that he's transformed his body, his cardio has improved, too. If you're going to beat this guy, you're going to have to match him blow for blow, and that is a tall order indeed. Well, right to the throat. Oof. Isolating their opponent's arm, and oh! Delivering nasty stumps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stumps. He avoids the damage. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Up and around, down. He can end it here. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Thunderous impact. Big forearm. Hooked up and boom! Fireman's carry position. Uh oh. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Boom. That's good. The makes the cover. Slam the door yet. Guther has that determined look on his face. The ring general showing off his power. Power bomb. Got a hold of it, and Sheamus is down. And he's still in the game. Sheamus is still alive. The Celtic warrior loves a fight and does not want this one to end. From the top. Elbow drop. Good luck. to the stomach. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Sheamus came looking for a fight, and this is clearly just what happens when he finds a fight. Hip toss. And that was an effective attack, guys. He's turning the tables. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Uh -oh. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. And he slides him back to the mat. out of the ring. What's next? Knee drop. Oh, impressive counter. Brought back into the ring from the floor now.
And Gunther stands tall once again. He and Sheamus threw everything they possibly could at each other. But in the end, it was the ring general asserting his dominance. Bruised and battered, but Gunther is not broken. Much to Sheamus' disappointment. Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness, there's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion. He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. Yeah. And his opponents first from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. By some accounts, LA Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. There's no doubt LA Knight has created something special with the WWE Universe. It's a real movement with everybody saying his name. Now it becomes about what can Knight do with it. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. 
He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish Warriors battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Tossed into the corner. Had it scouted and returned in kind with the boot. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. Ooh, what a suplex. Disrupt that attack. Into a sidewalk slam. Yeah. Counter after counter. For the small package driver. Boom, what impact. Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Iron Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. Oh, right to the throat. Oh, God, that hurt. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Okay, this could be too much. A sledgehammer? Really? Looking like John Henry swinging the hammer like that. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match are swing with or against you so fast. And the tenacious McIntyre being subdued there. Yeah, that right there was nice smash mouth style we always talk about. But it was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, he had the wherewithal to counter McIntyre. He got whipped into that corner. Brock down with a neck breaker. Close line in the corner. Here he goes for the win. What is the ref doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count. He really thought that was it. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Reversal after reversal, proving they did not own it. Punch right in the head. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Ah, oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Uh-oh. Fist directly to the gut. All the way up. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Vicious right forearm. Big time power slam. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. The Megastars elbow. That's gotta be it. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. To do next. And lead trash. Will it be? No, he gets the shoulder up. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, 
dropped. Literally. Something might be broken. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. Put in a position now. Straight impact down the throat. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Oh, repeated kicks. Boom! Looks like LA Knight got busted up there. LA Knight, blood force trauma. Knight stamping an end to this. Just launched his opponent overhead, belly to belly. We have seen these men unleash a lot of... They could pin his opponent right here! It's over! Got it! Survived the triple threat match! Here is your winner! The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing... There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo of Fire and Dawn. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. These two women are self-proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of Fire and Dawn's dark personas. The Unholy Union, as dangerous as they are disturbing. Fire and Don ready to conjure up a win. inside the ring. Let's go. Let's go. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE.
And the referee able to get these superstars into the ring long enough to officially start the match. These teams are ready to rip each other apart. And I'm not sure the word official is even in their vocabulary right about now, Michael. Put into the corner now. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. Tag is made. Look at the momentum. Boom! Oh, God, what a clothesline! Putting up a united front as this match continues. Alba expected that one. Here's a tag. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Ooh, forearm. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. She's pushed into the corner. Off the top rope, what a double team. Wow. There's the crucifix, nicely done. Well scattered <laughs> reversal there. So to the stomach. So ruthless. Inverted tree of woe position now. Stuck in the tree of woe and just having their face stomped. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Uh-oh. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. This their opponent's uh -oh. legs and uh -oh. in the cover. And she kicks out of two. She's still as determined as ever. Alba shifts that to her favor. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Absolutely ready to take her on here. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. Oh, God. Face first. Seated drop kick connects. Oh, an overhand chop. She's starting to drag a little bit. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh.
Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. here and all over the place. We've got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Up across the shoulders. Right into a spine buster. And guys, she's dangerously close to a count out loss. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. She sent flying into the corner. Hard whip into the corner. Oh, what a drop kick. That should do it right there. One. She is still in this fight. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. In off the tag. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Beautiful arm ringer applied. Bang! So accurate. Down with the goal buster. Uh-oh. Swaps him away to get out of danger. Toss back into the ring. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Short punch. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Sharp chop. Left by the turn. Tag is made. Tandem offense on the horizon here. What do these two have in mind for their opponent? Oh, look at this. It's a... A gory flatliner. Wow. Game, set, match for now the fire. Makes a cover. Oh, the ref in the wrong place there. The ref's got to be better than that. Tag made, she's in. Down across the neck. Check your face after that one. On the attack from behind, down with a neck breaker. Nasty kick. She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Now the fire with all the confidence in the world. And she's stunned in the corner. Into the 
corner. A uh, quick response to Fire's offense. More Thai clinch. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Tag is made. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring, into the center. It's over, fire is done. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Ooh. Oh, an apron slap. Disrespectful. How are these women keeping this intensity? How are they not entirely drained by now? Pure adrenaline's got to be taken over. It's the only explanation. Torturous focus on the lake in the corner. Dropped with a suplex. Punishing stretch. She's looking for the win. She pops the shoulder up in one. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Ooh! Ah, oh, spike face first. Just disrespectful. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Wrist lock, and they'll turn it into a top rope hurricane. She avoids the attack completely. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Places her right in the corner. Oh my God, face first. It could be over here. This is it. Win, a big win. That took a huge effort. A big win for Katana Chance and Kaden Carter in an even bigger celebration. Each of these women could contend for a title alone, but together, they may never lose a match.